Any film buff knows that music adds a whole other dimension to the drama on the screen. As a huge movie nerd, to me, it's one of the most important elements. Finding or composing the right music is no simple task, but one company is trying to change that using the power of AI. I'm Arjun Dutt with NVIDIA, and this is I Am AI. As a composer, writer's block is probably the most uh, dreadful thing. So what we came up with is this algorithm that can compose a lot of music very fast and provide demos extremely fast to clients. Iva is an artificial intelligence that composes music for uh, films, TV shows, games, any kind of entertainment content. This is quite different from what's out there. What we're trying to do is create a deep learning algorithm that creates music at the same level of top composers, so music full of emotions. It was exactly this kind of emotional resonance we wanted. When we were searching for an original composition for NVIDIA's annual conference about AI. The NVIDIA GTC project started when uh, NVIDIA reached out to us, started talking about how IVA works, and eventually they told us about their project to tell the story from the perspective of an artificial intelligence in their uh, keynote introduction. So on behalf of IVA, we were very happy to agree to make the music for their video. Having AI help speed up the creative process is interesting. But I wanted to know how Ava knows what to compose. We sit down with a client, they tell us what they need. Is it an emotional song? Is it an uplifting song? And then they might tell us, okay, I need Ava to learn in the style of this specific composer and maybe they need music in the style of Mozart or Beethoven. Every project is different. In NVIDIA's case, so NVIDIA gave us some sample tracks and we decided uh, a subset of a, of a database um, was similar to those tracks, so we retrained Ava. So how did Ava learn to be a classical composer? It starts with a huge database of classical music that's stored in MIDI format. This means that the computer knows every note and chord that's played, including the pacing and rhythm. Using a recurrent neural network, it looks for patterns in the selected tracks to understand the basic style of the music. Ava practices by predicting what notes will come next in the track. Once it gets good at these predictions, it creates a set of rules for that style of music. It's now ready to create an original score. That sounds incredible. But what is stopping Ava from simply copying bits from different songs and calling the result an original composition? Using GPU computing, we've created what we call a plagiarism checker which is able to understand whether a created track is uh, partly or fully plagiarized from the database the AI learned from. And once the client is satisfied with the music, we're able to have humans orchestrate the, the piece, which means converting it from piano music to orchestra music, adding different instruments. And then once the client is happy, then we're able to record it with musicians. Un, deux, trois, et... I was surprised at how emotional the music was. But that may be because there's still a lot of humans involved. Can AI really take it to the next level? To uh, judge uh, music uh, implies to be outside and to look from out, outside. And when I'm playing, when I'm con conducting, whenever I'm uh, conducting the music, I must be in the very heart of, of the music. But I think it's a big chance for creators and musicians to uh, use technology uh, in order to um, ask it uh, to push us toward excellence. So in order to continue developing the capabilities of the artificial intelligence, we have three features in mind. The first one is creating a musical ear. So Ava will be able to understand uh, if a music is good or not, because so far it's been uh, man-powered work. We've been uh, going behind the AI to choose whether a piece is fitting a client's requirement or not. The second feature is allowing Ava to compose for full orchestra directly. And the third feature is allowing Ava to read a script of a film or a video game, extract thematics and emotions, and then directly map that into music. If there was any doubt that Ava is truly a composer, 
that question has been answered. Ava has been recognized by SACEM, a French organization that protects the rights of composers. Having an artificial intelligence recognized in an author's rights society means that all of her compositions are protected by uh, copyright. I am the tutor of this artificial intelligence until uh, she becomes more independent and she emancipates herself and has even more rights to the eyes of law.